Benedict Cumberbatch is the new resident of Madame Tussauds Budapest. Benedict Cumberbatch has become the new resident of Madame Tussauds Budapest, effective today. The wax figure of the actor who plays Sherlock Holmes has arrived on Doherty Street from Vienna, and will remain for a few months. The United Kingdom Embassy and the Hungarian British Chamber of Commerce both attended Cumberbatch's unveiling ceremony, and Cornel Simon, his permanent Hungarian dubbing voice, also met with him. The number of stars per square meter on Doherty Street has risen again. Madame Tussauds Budapest has debuted a new figure, Benedict Timothy Carlton Cumberbatch. Most people recognize the English actor as Sherlock Holmes or Doctor Strange from the Marvel franchise. Cumberbatch is a highly sought-after British actor, and directors often cast him as an erudite, upper-class, gentlemanly figure because of his appearance and unusual voice. The British actress is also one of the key characters in Wes Anderson's The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, which won Best Short Film at the most recent Oscars. The actor's figure was unveiled at a British-themed event attended by the United Kingdom Embassy and the Hungarian British Chamber of Commerce. The wax figure of Benedict Cumberbatch sits on the arm of an armchair, allowing visitors to sit next to him and engage with the interactive panels. In 2015, the actor was awarded a CBE by the late Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace. According to this, he was recognized for his great contributions to the performing arts as well as his charity endeavors. Benedict Cumberbatch is not only one of the world's most popular actors, but he also has an intriguing and multifaceted personality. He speaks six languages fluently, including his native English, Japanese, German, Portuguese, Chinese, and Greek. He volunteered as an English instructor in a Tibetan monastery in Darjeeling, India, for a year. In addition to his cinematic appearances, he frequently performs on stage and provides his distinct voice to video games, documentaries, advertisements, and radio shows.